Okay, and here it is. And here we are at the Tarnished Barge. This is a series of scenes that were shot and that didn't make it into the final film, but they're very funny scenes with Ike McFadden. It's a cameo of spy number two and Jefferson Mays as spy number one. And this is some pretty funny footage as far as I'm concerned. Just somehow it wasn't funny actually inserted into the movie itself, unfortunately. <laughs> well, speaking of inserted, you guys got something going on between each other? Yeah, well, there was this whole thing where we're kind of like trying to outdo each other with the pepper. Like I'm trying, I've got my gaze locked on his and and he's got his locked on mine and I'm trying to just one up him with the pepper. And there's this whole kind of homoerotic, we kind of had this backstory where as in we're lovers and... And so you did you did create that backstory yeah, between well, each other. Well, he created it. Nice. He did. That's a good idea. Wow, well, you guys are good actors, because it comes across. I, I definitely think it comes across. I love this pepper stuff. This this is it. You know, comedy doesn't get better than it does with this. Ooh, Wendy's really funny. Except in this when scene. it's funny. Yeah. Except <laughs> if you re- if you remove the black bar at the bottom of your screen, yeah, they're not wearing pants. <laughs> they're not wearing pants. Here we go. Nice, nice dolly in. One that's of our a, few dolly That's shots actual money. Ends up getting cut. That was, that was actual money. Yeah. And here we go. We're about to move into uh, the, the infamous waiting station at the Tarnished Barge. And I, I love all the scenes in this waiting station. Most of them are cut. But, but I like them mainly because James Walsh, who's playing Mason, is always in the waiting station doing absolutely nothing. He's just standing around. Twiddling his pencil. Twiddling his pencil. And I love how he reacts to George in this scene. Like he, he's hung over. He puts the fork in his hair. Yeah, oh, scratches yeah. his hair and then tosses <laughs> the fork back into the utensils, which will then the table will be set with that. So, and now we've got Watson tripping, trying to, to meet them and, and, and do a good job here. In the blue Hawaii line, that, that, that stays in. But we've got... See, in, in the original screenplay, there's this whole idea of these corporate spies at, at the Tarnished Barge trying to trip Watson up. And I, I, this movie aged me so much because I look so much younger in this movie than I do right now. Really? This movie, yeah, yes, this movie killed me. You mean you aged after this yeah, film was shot? Yeah, apparently right or? after this, this film, this scene was shot, I aged in like warp speed. I don't I, see that. You're I 12 you're like, there and yeah, you're 14. <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay, now we're at we're at a, a scene that's shot in best video. The, the main reason I wanted this scene to be in the deleted scenes is because it shows off best video, which is the place where I worked for many years as assistant manager. Those and, are actual videos. In Hamden. That's right, this is PJ Brown playing Kurt. It's a very funny take, just his end of the take, but it... It's very funny, and, and he plays off all of these random extras that are that are in this shot. But but here we are in, in Best Video, which is the coolest video store in, in the entire world. And, and, and again, none of the scenes that we shot in Best Video actually made it into the film, which, but you, which I still video, feel very... But Best Video finally fi- fixed their air, air conditioning, right? And it's no longer well, the was coolest. Was there no AC in this? It's no longer the coolest. I, I'm making a pun. All are right, you? back to the movie. Back to the movie. There's lots of people in this shot who are who are renting videos, like that the elderly woman and, and lots of teenage girls. And I love the fact that they come over. We're in the director section here, and all of them come over and they and they very specifically know exactly what what they're looking for. Now I have a question. Now, yeah. I know I know some of the stuff in the upper left and lower left is time code numbers. I have no idea what that series of digits I, on the lower right I've thing. never known what any of those numbers number are. Number I have something? no idea. No idea. Scott, do you have any idea? Just I'm guessing that's uh, edge coding. It's that's the, like uh, how, what foot footage my, of the film. What were the countries? What were the last countries? Were the international section um, there? What countries were the last ones? Spanish. Spanish? Really? Mm-hmm. And what else? Russian, Eastern European. Russian. See this girl? Oh, she's out. I was going to say she's, you know, she goes right over to Spanish and picks her movie out, which is what, you know, what you usually see. The best stuff is always out of frame. Okay, now we're, God bless the slate. Now we're outside Best Video. And we have Watson and Ian in this scene. Outside Best Video. When I first moved to Hamden, which was kind of random, 
I was driving along Whitney Avenue and I saw this video store and I thought it looked like kind of a cool mom and pop video store. And I went inside and it was the most incredible collection of videos I had ever seen. It was humongous and it was far cooler and bigger than all the Kims in New York City put together. And, and I decided I had to work there and I introduced myself to the owner of the store and I said, hey, I'm an NYU film grad. This is the greatest collection of videos I've ever seen. You must hire me. And he did. And Maya, what did you say about that I at said, the time? Because Maya works at Best Video I said too. he never hires anyone that just walks in off the street. That's right. The, sort of the Best Video policy was that they would only hire people that had been renting videos there for many, many years. But I, I wooed Hank and, and kind of you swept him off all. his feet with, yeah. with my confidence and... and now, are those two kids on the bikes the those same are, two kids? Yeah, no, I think those are the same two kids that repeatedly uh, appear throughout the film on bicycles. They rented those bikes from Best Video. <laughs> and lastly, we have, a, we have another famous place in the New Haven area, Wentworth Ice Cream. Again, a, another location that unfortunately did not make it into the end title sequence. But the gag here was that Wendy, you know, I think this was supposed to appear in kind of the title sequence and we'd see Watson and Officer Rusatelli actually eating their ice cream cones. Though, as you can see, we kept, we did so many takes that they're down to their cones. You know, their, their ice cream cones aren't even full of ice cream. And we only had it in the budget for one scoop. That's right. Cone, we couldn't so. afford any more scoops. But Ken Marino in typical fashion has a very funny ad lib here about arresting someone. We tried to use as many ad libs of his as, as we could. And that's it. That's it.